What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield and we got ourselves an amazing video for you guys today. We got ourselves a physical attacking Tapu Finikin alongside with Life Orb Tapu Koko. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out on this channel. But yo, shout out to my boy Zay Locks for dropping this team. It looks fire and the team synergy is amazing. I cannot wait to get after it with these guys. But rocking out in our fun spot, we got Grimmsnarl in the top left corner with Prankster ability and Citrus Berry. And Grimmsnarl just rolls out and does work all around. It has swagger for that top boost finish. So they're going to pair really, really well. And it is physical attacking. So we get that attack boost. And in that Misty Surge, we neglect to confuse. So we don't get confused and we just get a free attack boost, which is absolutely amazing. We also got Reflect to for the incoming physical attack damage, scary face, and then sucker punch as our first turn priority move to actually deal some damage. Right next to him, we got Talonflame with that Gale Wings. We can set up Tailwind, Tailwind, blah, blah, blah. Can't speak right now. Dual Wing Beat, Flare Blitz, and we got Taunt as our final move. Magmortar is behind my face cam. This thing is an absolute beast. It is very bulky with that Assault Vest. We got Vital Spirit as its ability. Thunderbolt for uh, coverage, Heat Wave for stab, Weather Ball for potential stab if we're in the sun, and then Hyper Beam for a strong little normal coverage move. Right next to him, big old Tapu Koko. And Tapu Koko will actually do work with the Persian down here. So, team synergy with the Persian and Tapu Koko because we can just fake tears with the Persian. And then Tapu Koko can roll out and do absolutely a bunch of damage as uh, they get the special defense break. But then we got Dazzling Gleam on this thing, Thunder, Volt Switch, and Protect as his moveset. And then Lecture Surge as his ability, and Life Orb as its item. Persian in the bottom left, another support mod for this team. We got the Focus Sash, we got Fur Coat, and then we got Parting Shot, which is awesome. We can drop Special and Physical Attack with that. We got Fake Out, and we got Fake Tears and Snarl to drop Special Attack for both of the Pokemon. Final spot, we got that Physical Attacking Tapu Fini, which I cannot wait to use. We got the Misty Surge ability, the Figgy Berry for a little bit more HP. Then we got Protect. Play rough, waterfall, and then our coverage move is ice punch. Guys, if you want to try out the team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this team. First battle coming at you guys, and we have a little problem. I really want to go with Tapu Finny and Grimmsnarl, but he has two Pokemon that can set other surges. So it's like I cannot really swagger up if I don't have that misty terrain rolling. But let me see uh, top of Finny's speed before we actually do make a final decision. So I can lead Magmortar. Magmortar is not bad here at all. 105. Um, hmm. Might be slower than both of them. Maybe. But I kind of want to play it safe. Maybe go Magmortar and potentially set up a Tailwind. And maybe go Coco and Persian in the back end. I feel like that can potentially rock out. I don't like that. That Talon Flame. But do you think we're going to lead Milotic? But then we have the Coco in the back and then the Persian, That's, which isn't bad. I kind of really like, I really do like this squad right here. We're going to roll out here, try to get first battle roll, and try to get ourselves a win. We're coming off a strong last video. If you guys haven't checked out that last video, go check it out. We use a very, very strong Blastoise team. Probably one of the best I used in a while. We had Blastoise and Glacier, and we went 3-0 and dominated there. So it was pretty hype. So hopefully we can uh, keep that win streak rolling, kind of bring it over here, get buzzing here. Because I don't think I, in forever, I went back-to-back 3-0 -back videos. That's nuts. That is nuts. It's tough to do, especially in this meta. So he does go here. He does go here into this, which is totally fine. I could have swapped into Finny. I could have swapped into Finny. I could have, like, led the Grimstarl and then swapped into Finny. But I think I just set up a Tailwind and get rolling from there. I think that's the play. I think that's the play. Because we got the Gale Wings. We'll take the Speed Advantage. She has to Surge. Um, hmm. Let's just drop a Heat Wave. Maybe get a Burn on the Pult. That'd be pretty nice. And then uh, just set up the Tailwind. I think that's the play. I think that's a lovely little play right here. A lovely little play. We do have that, uh, what is it? The the beak item? I forget what it's called. I forget what the item's called, but it'll make our flying damage do a little bit more. He's gonna Dynamax the Pult. Pult is getting a Dynamax. Imagine if we get a burn on this thing. Oh my lord. Oh my lord, that'd be spicy. That'd be real nice. But go ahead, Dynamax your Pult. That's fine. We have Top of Coco in the back end, which I really, really like. And we are gonna get a Tailwind off, and it's a guarantee, which is beautiful, just lovely, it's just dandy. And Tapu Coco is part fairy type, which is amazing. This thing's probably rocking ally switch too, which I gotta watch out for. So that's that's a little scary. It's definitely a little scary. Let's see what he goes for. He's gonna go for a fling, yo. Chill on me. Fling its choice scarf over to who? Over to you. He's gonna fling its choice scarf over here. Brock weakness policy. And give it a choice scarf. Okay. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool thing to do. Heat wave's gonna come out here. And who dodges it? Probably Dragapult, right? Okay, no, can we get a burn on him? That'd be huge. We do not get the burn. And he's just going to airstream. He's going to take out whoever he wants. So Magmore is going to go down. 
Okay, right, uh, that's fine. We have Tailwind. I am gonna get out my what's it called now, my Coco, and try to at least Starfall on this thing. Wait, that's gotta be quiet. I gotta try to Starfall, stick a Misty Surge, and all from there. Let's get it. Let's get it. Cause we are faster. We're definitely faster than this thing. Cause we are Tailwind. But again, do we think he's rocking Ally Switch? Do I predict an Ally Switch? That's my that's my tough thing. Do I predict an Ally Switch? We do get our Electric Surge buzzing as well. Which is nice, so we take off whatever he wants to do with that. It's a real question. I have to starfall, but do I star? I think I just starfall over here. Or do I predict the ally switch? It's so tough, man. I said we just go here, and then we dual wing beat over onto uh, the slot. Just in case. Now we're gonna we're gonna double up in this slot. Do not ally switch. I was gonna read it. I was gonna read it hard. He's gonna okay, beautiful. Beautiful, he withdraws. He withdraws, that's really, really nice. And he's gonna go into Rillaboom, which I do not mind whatsoever. Considering we're gonna outspeed that thing, and we can just dual wing beat it and take it out, or Flare Blitz. Unless he takes out my Talonflame this turn. But I think he's gonna, what's called, pose a bigger threat. There's no way he guards. There's no way he guards, right? Oh my god, if he guards, I'm gonna be upset. I, I was gonna drop a dual wing beat on that left side. That would've been huge, that would've been huge. Do not guard, because we're doubling up in your pole. We're doubling up. Get my boy Coco out here. Because if we can take out Pole here, we're pretty much set. Don't you dare guard. He doesn't guard. That is that is wonderful. Hopefully we can pick up the KO here. There's one shot. Here's another shot. What's called should be able to outspeed Coco. And if Coco can take out here, it should be thriving. There's a nice little wonderful starfall. Which I think it should be able to pick up the KO. Let's go take it out. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Big play there. Um Who's he gonna bring out now? We do have the Misty Surge, which I don't mind. That's fine. Who are you gonna bring out now? Because I'm just gonna do a wing beat on that left side. We still have Tailwind. We still have Persian in the back, and Persian still has a fake out, which is nice. Which is actually pretty nice. And then we can uh, go into fake tears, all that good stuff. So I think I just uh, get after uh, whoever he throws out here with Top of Coco, and I just uh, throw a dual wing beat on that left slot. Robum's gonna fake out. He is gonna fake out. Ooh, yo, that's a little scary mine right there. Robum is gonna fake out, and I am just going to Starfall once again over here. And again, I'm just gonna do a wing beat over here. He's gonna fake me out. And he's probably gonna pick up the KO here on my uh He's probably gonna pick up the KO on my uh what's it called right now? On my talent flame, because I think this uh Earth is gonna be sashed. And then he's gonna fake out and hit it. Which, okay, that's fine. And we still have another turn after this in dynamite, which is lovely. And then we have a fake out coming out, and we can fake tears, all that good stuff. The wing beat does come out first. I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. How we miss our dual wing beat? This thing's gotta be sash, right? Yeah, it's sash. Dude, come on. Are you kidding me? We really miss our dual wing beat like that? We really miss our dual wing beat like that? That's rough. Grass God is gonna come out here. Ugh, I don't like that at all. But at least we're out speeding everything now. Uh... Do I still Starfall over onto this thing? That's tough, man. That's tough. Hmm. This thing might protect. I think dual wing beat would we'll still KO. How much go? We'll, we'll, I don't want to double up. You know what? Just in case our Earth Speed protects, I'm just going to go into a Starfall over on this thing. And then I'm going to, I'm going to drop a dual wing beat over here again. Are you kidding me, man? That really didn't work. That really didn't do anything. Dual wing beat comes out. Mm, it's not going to pick up the KO, dude. Ah. Ah. Don't like it. Don't like it at all. Tailwind gone. Tucker Punch going to come out here. It fails. That's fine. Because we're still full HP, which is wonderful. Thing's going to take you out. I'm not worried about the, uh, what's it called? I'm not worried about the... He has Lele, so he's gonna change up the terrain. It's not a big deal for me. We can go for high horsepower. We're dead. Dude, come on. Come on, man. All right, uh, this one's gonna be actually really, really close. I mean, I could start snarling. I could just start snarling. What's called still outspeed. I'm not really too worried about that. I have a fake out as well, which you cannot come out because of the th uh, top of Lele is gonna come out. But dude, if we if our dual wing beat hit, this thing's dead. This thing's dead and we just win this match. 
But I, I still feel like we have a decent shot to win this match. This thing's shiny, so it's spiffy. And Lele is going to come out here as its final mon. And I'm just going to start snarling up. Nike Surge is popping. Uh, do I do a wing beat into that thing, or do I read a protect? I could snarl, or I can pick out. No, I cannot pick out. I just remember that. Alright, so we're just going to go here. Um, snarl into dual wing beat. Play. It's gotta be the play, right? It's gotta be the play. He's gonna protect. Kinda knew that. Kinda saw that, but I had to, I had to make this play. Snarl, will Snarl come out first? Hopefully. Hopefully outspeed. Snarl comes out. Block. And that's fair. We are gonna get a special attack drop onto that, uh, onto that Lele, which is nice. So he sh that thing shouldn't be able to kill even with expanding forces. It's just gonna go for a moon blast. That's fine. Eat this up, Persian. You are sash, so it's beautiful. So I should be able to dual wing beat and get off another snarl. And be decently thriving here. Right? Yeah. Snarl again. Into dual wing beat. Take out the Rillaboom. Which he's posing the bigger threat right now. Unless he lands another protect, which would be absurd. That'd be real absurd, and I wouldn't be a fan of it at all. <laughs> Let's see, what are you gonna do, kind sir? Talonflame hasn't been taking damage. He's been letting this thing go. It's kinda coming coming back to bite him. He's got to go for another protect. I feel like that's the play. That's his only way out of here. Sash is clutching up. The wing beat comes out. Oh my lord. And I can't use that. And I can't use that because of the terrain. That's whack. That's really whack. That's really whack. That, that's whack. That is super whack. Did I really just lose this because of that? Grass guy, we should be able to eat. Fine. Um, high horsepower can't hit. You can't pick out. Do I go after a Lele? I think I have to go after a Lele. I think I have to go after a Lele. Oh my lord, are we really going to lose this match? Robo might protect here. I'm kind of hoping. Are you kidding me? Yo, do wing beat. Psychic terrain, and I forget about it. Robo comes out. Ah. He can only grass guide me, which is nice. Is that KO? We should be able to eat, right? We got a crit. Ooh. Thank you, Pokey Gods. <laughs> well, we yeah, we should be we should be fine here, because you can only glide, right? Yeah, you can only glide. That's GG. Unless I miss another attack. Should be fine, yo. Town flame clutching up. But yeah. We missed our dual wing beat, so this thing should have already been dead, and then we made a we made a slight little mistake by forgetting the psychic terrain because of our gale wings. That one threw me off. I was doing good on the first turn priorities, but we still end up picking up that win, and we start this video off strong. Currently on a four-game win streak because last video we went 3-0. This video we started off with a W. Looking to go five. Looking to go five in a row. Let's get buzzing here. I think this is a good match to actually go Grimmsnarl and top of Finny here because he has a Reggie Draco. But the only thing that bothers me now is that Intimidate will affect the top of Finny because it's physical attacking. But we do have that Swagger, which will boost us up just fine. Hopefully, he doesn't bring in that uh, that real boom turn one. And if he does, hopefully, top of Finny's a little bit slower. So then we get that surge. I'm going to go Magmortar. I am going to go Magmortar. Just bring him in just in case as a nice little back end. I think Coco comes in as well, too. Because Coco can do work up on the Reggie Draco over onto that uh, Incineroar and that uh, Tornadus. I'm really liking that. And then just Assault Festival in the back. Right? I'm like, I'm liking that. Where do I go with Talonflame? With the sharp Beak over to Magmortar. Talonflame kind of rocks out. I should go Talonflame. I should we go Talonflame as a... Nah, we'll just go here. We'll go here. Finish this one off. I was gonna go Talonflame, but he's probably definitely bringing that Urshifu. It's probably the Real Boom. But I'm not really worried about the Real Boom considering we have the Night Mortar. But the Talonflame could have rocked out on that uh, that Urshifu. Because Urshifu are Sash. So I can just do Wing Beat, Bop Bop, roll from there. And that's probably what I should have done in the last game, knowing that that Urshifu was Sash. Roll Dual Wing Beat into that, and then just uh, Max Starfall into the Real Boom. That could have been the play. But it's only these two, which I'm totally fine with. I really am. Gonna. Um, so I get this rolling. I'm definitely gonna swagger up on my uh on my finny slot. I'm definitely gonna swagger up on that. Get my attack boost. And do I do I set rain? Do I set rain or do I go for a starfall? So I'm definitely swaggering over here. But no confusion happening here. And I could set up a reflect next turn. I'm definitely dynamaxing. Oh, I can set the buffets. I can set the buffets, which will be nice. I can do that and just take them out. I say we do that. Get a free KO here. Weather going. 
Because a plus two should just be able to just send it on this thing. And then Urshfu can take the buffets and we should be fine. We can set up a reflect next turn and roll from there. But I was going to go after Urshfu here. But it, it was probably going to be Sash. So then there was really no point. I'd rather get a buffets off and then sucker punch it maybe next turn. But we're getting a Finny out here. We're Dynamax. He's not going to see us coming. A physical Finny coming at you, boy. Coming at you. Look what you got, kid. Look what you got. We're swaggering. Maybe should have went after the Urshfu. I can protect next turn, too. But I'm going to get out for a Reflect, which is going to be wonderful. We do that. Icy Wind's coming out here. Hey, yo, don't slow me down. Don't do that. Don't do that to me. So this is actually going to be nice. So no Tailwind from him? kind of like that. I kind of dig that. Gonna go for that uh the poison jab, which we're gonna be able to eat. Do not poison me, please. Please, I'm frail. That's fine. Hailstorm coming out here. Then the buffets. I'll set up a reflect next turn. Bop, bop, bop. Get out of my face, you're dead. This thing is actually sashed. Okay, I like that. This thing is actually sashed. So I could have just took out the Urshfu. I could have just took out the Urshfu, but this thing is gonna go down the buffets anyway. Uh do I protect this turn? No, I think I just set up reflect and dump on it. And just set up a reflect and get after that. Or I can scare you. I can do that. But I'd rather I'd rather get off this reflect. I really would. I really would rather get off this reflect. We're swagger boosted. We're kind of thriving here. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna send out who? Real boom, please. I'll be real boom. It's not. It's gonna be Vegelecky. And I think I have to protect here. I, think I have to protect. Oh, not protect. Yeah, I think I have to reflect and then go into a protect. I think that's fine, because they're probably going to be doubling up on me. Or at least, uh, doing something dirty. Ooh, dude, you come after me, man. You know, max lightning me? Are you dynamaxing? If I get off this, I can harshly lower somebody's speed, which will probably be the Regilekis, with a scary face, and then try to get rid of that Urshifu. If I can get rid of that Urshifu, who do I have in the back? I have Coco in the back, which is pretty nice, and Meg Mortar. I'd still rather do damage on this thing, but Urshifu is just posing such a big of a threat. What happens here? Here goes a reflect. Hey, oh, we got that reflect up. Just dandy candy. We go for that max lightning. We're gonna say, yo, get out of my face. We're gonna block that. I gotta drop this thing speed. I gotta drop that thing speed. Poison jab's gonna come across here. Can we eat? Put that reflect up. We can. Dandy candy. Alright, so we eat that up. Here goes my berry. Awesome. Give me some HP back. Yummy, yummy. And yeah, I definitely gotta drop speed stat and roll after you. I gotta get after Fragilaki. Because again, we have Reflect up, and I'm, I'm fine with that Urshfu. He might be choice in a Poison Jab, or maybe he just like throwing Poison Jab, something right. Definitely Scary Face onto you. Oh uh, no, we, we should be fine with the terrain. The terrain shouldn't matter. But Geyser change up the weather. But no, we're gonna, we're gonna go into this. We're gonna go into this. Let's get it. So we guard there. He's definitely max lighting. I don't think he's expecting a Scary Face to come out here. Yeah, he can we outspeed? That's that's what I want to do. We're harshly dropping. Is that two or three? What does harshly mean? Which depths can come out here? We should be able to eat with the reflect up. And top of Finny, please go before this thing. Here's my berry, which is dandy. My berry's rocking. Outspeed, outspeed. Oh my god. Go after Grim. No! It did not work. It did not work. Cause I think we could because we were minus one. I think it was because we were minus one. I thought maybe we were gonna we were gonna do something dirty with that. Yeah, you do. Icy Wind definitely clutching up. Um, okay. So he is slow now. And I think Coco... Is Coco outspeed? Coco should be able to come out here and potentially outspeed. Coco should be able to come out here and outspeed. And... Do I go Coco? I have to go Coco. I have to go Coco Beans, right? Yeah, we're gonna go Coco Beans here. Coco Beans, yeah. And I think we just gleam... Gleam should be able to take out the Urshfu easily because he's a uh, four times weakness. And. Do I swagger that thing? No, we have the Misty Terrain. I think I just scary face slow that thing down a little bit more. Wait, is that the fight? Where do I just sucker punch? I think I just sucker punch here. He's already slow enough. I'm just gonna sucker punch on that thing and I'm just gonna gleam. I am just going to gleam, take out the Urshfu. And Retroleffy only has one more turn. Sucker punch comes out. Oh, Nice damage, nice damage. Coco should go next. Bang, Urshfu definitely dead. And we do some nice damage to that Regilecki slot. And I think Regilecki's gonna go after Grim Snarl, which is actually really, really good for us. That's actually really, really good for us. He's gonna go for Lightning, and he is gonna go after Grim Snarl. That's really good for us. 
Because now I get out Mag Mortar. We have that Assault Vest. We outspeed that thing. Dazzling Gleam is going to be able to take out that Regilecki, no problem. And should be pretty good here. Because who did he lead? He led Urshifu and... And, uh... We're not. So we only has two. We only has two left. And I'm not really counting this Reggie because we're going to outspeed it. And there's Reggie Draco. And we're fair. Oh. Mm. Mm. Mwah. Mwah. We're spicing it up. Jeans is looking good. He's looking good, baby. He's looking good. Does Coco outspeed Draco? But Draco can't really do much to me. Could go Weather Ball. Do we? I am going to go Weather Ball. Just for that. I should have gone Weather Ball there. Coming in with the ice moves. Mag Mortar dropping a Weather Ball. But who's protecting? That's fine. You guys got both protect, right? Regilecki's going to go down. Yeah. See you, see you later, Regilecki. See you, buddy. I'm just going to yeet on that thing. Regilecki gone, yo. Your boy's looking good. He's looking good. I kind of want to see this Weather Ball. But I kind of want to protect the Coco. Not even going to lie. I kind of want to protect the Coco. But do I risk it? Do I protect the Coco just to do this? Coco should be faster, right? I really don't want to risk it like that. Oh no, we don't even have Weather Ball anymore, so we can't risk it. I'm gonna go for Hyper Beam then. Hyper Beam, and we're just gonna Dazzling Beam. Finish up this battle. Oh my lord, yo, your boy's been on fire. He just canceled that. That's a five game win streak, and we go 2 and 0 so far. I really want to go back to back 3 and 0 videos, and here's our chance. Third and final battle. Let's get after it. This guy's got his Trick Room team with Dusclops, Sakataka, Cinerase, Kartana, Twickle, and uh, Lilligant, right? That's Lilligant, right? I believe so. But we got to go Talonflame in order to taunt the Trick Room and kind of counter that up. And then if he doesn't go in Trick Room, we can just Tailwind and roll from there. Because he doesn't have a Tailwind Pokemon. Unless Lilligan can learn Tailwind. It might be able to. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure because I don't really know too much about that Pokemon. But yeah, definitely got to go Talonflame here. Uh, who else should I lead? Who else should I lead? That car or Magmora can buzz here. I ain't going to lie. Magmora's not a bad choice. We can get Weather Ball. We have this coverage moves. We can roll from there. Where do I go with Finny? I definitely want to bring Finny as like a back end mon, but Top of Coco might be our Dynamax mon. Uh, do I go Grimstar? Maybe to set up something? We could go Persian. I think I'm just gonna go, uh. I wanna go, I don't even know. I don't really know Finny here. Uh, no, let's go Meg Mortar. Let's go Meg Mortar, Coco, and. Actually, let's go here. Let's uh, go Persian. I see my time, guys. I see my time. Coco and Meg Mortar. I think that's the play. We're gonna lead. We're gonna lead the Persian. In case he starts going like special attackers or something like that, we can roll from there. We can fake out as well, which is nice. So we're going to roll from there. We're going to roll out with this. I'm going to be able to taunt or fake out, whatever. Because if he goes Dust Cops and Sakataka, then I'm just going to fake out the Sakataka and taunt on the Grimstarl and then be able to taunt the next one. He's going to go... He's going to go Lilganth and Torque, which is totally fine. Which is totally fine. I don't feel like we need a Tailwind. I think we just start Snarling. He's going to drought. So, how do I roll with this one? We're definitely going to go into a snarl. Or I can fake out the Torkoal. I can fake out the Torkoal and just go in here. Yeah, that's the play. Let's, let's go. Let's, let's do that. Let's fake out the Torkoal and go in here. Let's see what he does. I don't see a Dynamax really coming from him. If he does Dynamax, that's tough news for us. He's going to Dynamax the Torkoal, if anything. And he's going to protect the Lilganth. Okay, that's fine. We're faking out the Torkoal. That's totally fine. Pick out. Mwah. Good little clap skis on that thing. And I'll be able to snarl next turn. Bowling Beat's gonna get the blocks. Um. I really want. Let's just flare blitz. Let's just dump on this thing in a drought. And then do I just parting shot? I could parting shot instead of a snarl. Which I think is gonna be the play. I think parting shot is gonna be the play. what happens after using oh oh me no like that me no like that eat up both of you guys Persian's gonna sash up okay ooh, ooh. okay let's get rid of that little gant here i think uh talent play might go down here as well our shots can come out here so we can't get off another fake out later in the match which is dandy candy special attacks gonna drop we're gonna swap back and I am going to get out Mag Mortar because we have that Drought. I might actually Dynamax Mag Mortar considering we do have the Drought. And we're going to be able to take out Lilganth here, but Talonflame is going to go down as well. I do not like one bit. Boy, what's going to come out here? Let's get it. See you later. You're gone. 
sashed. He sashed up. I thought we did. No, we didn't do any damage to it. Oh, that's a little rough. That's a little rough. He's going to be able to after you again. And uh, I can fake. Actually, I'm going to bring out Persian just for that. Just for that. Just for that. I'm going to have to bring out Persian. Just for that, I'm going to have to bring out Persian. And go into a fake out. Into you. Actually, he's just gonna he's just gonna read the fake out, so he might protect again. Uh, do I fake out the Torkoal here? Yeah, let's just fake out the Torkoal, because if he goes for an air for you, I can just do this. Yeah, I'm with that. I'm with that all day. Because fake out should be go before air for you, right? Fake out should always come out first. I'm gonna withdraw the Torx, which I'm fine with. And I wonder why he's gonna he's probably gonna predict oh heat wave. See you later, Cartana. See you later. Bad play by you. Bad play by you. That's a rough play by you, buddy. That's a rough play by you. Cartana's dead. Cartana's gone. That's huge plus for us. That's a huge plus for us. Unless he misses attack. What do you mean? Yo, I I don't I can't deal with this game. I can't do it. I just can't. What do you mean? Bro, dude. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? Yo, it's gonna bite us, man. It's gonna bite us hard. We're gonna lose this match because of this. Dude, Cartana should be dead. Cartana should be gone. We shouldn't have to worry about it. He's gonna Dynamax, get a kill or something, and he's gonna roll out. He's going to roll out. He's gonna go after you. He's gonna take out my Magmortar, probably. I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this one bit. I am snarling just to take out that, uh, that Logan. What's he gonna go? He's gonna go for a Leaf Storm. Oh, no, on you. Oh. Version dead. And crit. And you are gonna drop your stats, which is lovely. Hopefully I can pick up this double kill. Sacred Sword, eat up. Okay, beautiful. Double kill here, please. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my lord. Okay, so we still have his uh, Dynamax. He still has a Torkoal. And who do we still have? We don't have it. We just have Cocoa Beans. Cocoa Beans is coming out here. We're gonna have to. He's, he's, we're Dynamaxing him. Oh, we should have. Our Magmore should be full health. Right now. We should be full health. There is a Drought, which is lovely. But I can still Heat Wave. And he's gonna send out Torkoal and who else? And whom else is his final mind that he's gonna Dynamax? It is. Cinder. Okay. Okay. We're gonna surge up. We're gonna get surging here. Uh. I believe what's called is going to change typings. So I am going to lightning over on this slot. I think I just heat wave. Hmm. Hmm. Please don't protect Torx. I think Torx is going to try to go for a heat wave or an eruption. But we're going to see double Dynamax here. And I wonder what Cinder is going to go for. I wonder what typing he changed to. Hopefully he goes for like a steel spike. And a heat wave can just dump on this thing. If he goes for a steel spike over into my Coco slot, I can see us potentially eating that up and then hitting that thing hard with a, with a heat wave. Let's see what happens here. I'm not too worried about the Torgle. E, yo, this is scary. Yo, I feel like we had this match in the bag if what's called goes down. If we one shot Cartana or, or that heat wave hits in the beginning. That's tough. That was tough. But you, you know, you know, here we gotta fight for our wins. That's what we're doing. We're looking for it. Come on, yo. I want this one so bad. But this one's looking tough because Cinderace is such a strong Pokemon. You know, he's gonna go for the Fireball. We should be able to eat up his fi Fireball, right? Coco Bean should be able to eat this up. Oh, it's in the heat. Never mind. Yeah, we're dead. That's GG, man. Does not change type. He just drops a giant Fireball. It says Night Night. Dr droughts. Droughts doing us dirty. Heat Wave's gonna come out here. Doing a decent amount of damage, actually. Any burns? Probably not. <laughs> Both fire type and earth powers can come in here and clean this one up. That's GG. You see, I was going to say maybe we can eat because we had the soul fest. But nah, that's chilling. That's chilling. We had a solid video today. Really solid video. Maybe we could have won that game. Maybe we could have won differently if we would have guarded there or if my heat wave would have hit first. But we still go 2 and 1. Have a great time. Awesome video today. We went 2 and 1. And I was actually thinking after that third and final battle ended that I thought Tapu Koko was actually going to outspeed Cinderace. But it just shows how fast Cinderace actually is. Because I think Tapu Koko is one of the faster guys in the game. So Cinderace is an absolute beast. Hits like a truck. Tough to get around. But still, solid set of battles today. Shout out to my boy Zay for dropping this team one more time. Seriously, it rocked out. And I had a blast with it. It was amazing. Very, very strong. I love the Finny combo with the Grimstarl and the Persian and 
Coco combo. It just rocked out so, so well. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.